Good evening, lady mans and broskies. This is your host, Vic, here. Pleasure to be with you on this fine day. And we're going to be bringing you some Davy Bag games. Each pirate crew is going to select two members from their crew to compete it out on this battlefield to the death. And the winners will get to choose any member from any of the other crews and take that member off of their crew and add it to their own. That is a two-on-two-on-two-on-two pirate crew war. The object of this game is to hold on to the skull in the center of the map. Whoever can hold that skull for 100 seconds will be able to name any member of the enemy crew onto their crew. No questions asked. So we're going to start this thing off right away with no handlebars here. And he's been picking up the rockets, dodging choppers, because if you can dodge a chopper, you can dodge a ball. And he has the overshield and the rocket launcher. And look how well he used this overshield to prolong the damage that he can sponge to himself with the rocket launcher. Beautiful play there. <clears throat> Sarcasm. <clears throat> Moving on to Edge of Reason here. He's able to pick up the ball and get a nice double kill, although he doesn't get the medal. While he sits there and contemplates his life, we're going to get back to handlebars off the respawn. He sees a chopper there. And what's worse than one chopper or two choppers? And you see, one thing that pisses him off more than anything else is when people hop into the chopper. And I can see why. To Edge of Reason, this is like Dances with Choppers, the musical. So he's going to take that out. And check out the nade advantage plus the mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 shots with the carbine. What an excellent carbine. Tries to run away with the oddball, but unfortunately not doing well enough. Oh, Orange just gets raped. That was horrible. What is Handlebars doing over here? Let's listen into Handlebars real quick. Run! Run! Okay, then let's go back to Edge of Reason, who's actually trying to. Who's actually playing the objective, not focusing on his dueling skills. And unfortunately, he's taken out there, but we're going back to handlebars. Now he's kind of bored, so he's going to run, try to play the objective. And sees this guy pop in the corner. He's going to shoot at him, take him out, and pick up the oddball and get some crucial seconds for his team. And he picks up the Green Lantern, throws it down. The Green Lantern tries to be effective, but he's taken out by the Thousand Cherry Blossoms. And their team moves from last place to further up in last place. And we're going to move in with Edge of Reason here. Check out his BR. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect BR. Man, it... Unfortunately, he's taken out there before the enemy can die, so we're going to switch back to handlebars. He also picks up a battle rifle. He prides himself on perfecting his dueling skill. And he, he's getting shot by an enemy death chariot, so he's going to have to take cover behind this small little rocket. Look at that perfectly placed rocket to the double kill. Gets the triple kill. What an awesome kill. Going for the overkill, but unfortunately, time is not going to be of the essence for him. And He just shoves his thumb into that pirate skull's eyeball and runs away with that thing. That is just violating that skull in every right. And he's going to reload his gun here, try to defend himself. If he can hold off this push, he will get a good chunk of time here. And he's trying to four-shot green here and, oh, misses the fourth shot. What an unfortunate turn of events there. And Edge of Reason is going to try to slip in and grab some ball time here while the enemy is reeling and they're on the spawn. So, unfortunately, a power drain flies in. That's going to suck out his shield if he runs into it, so he doesn't want to run into that. Oh, what is this? He's getting shot from behind. That is not good. And Oh, what is this? The nerve. How rude. One thing worse than being killed is being ignored. He will not stand for that. And he's using the double booty formation. He likes big butts and he cannot lie. One of the most deadliest formation of bubble shields out there. You can see Red just confused and doesn't know what to do. And Oh, Edge senses the darkness approaching. And oh, he's able to take him out with the oddball. One shot kill. Unfortunately, there he's going to take him out. Oh, and Red Team is filing up in the Warthog ready to go. That is not good. And Handlebar is still trying to outduel his uh, opponents. Trying to shake off the cobwebs and start out dueling people in this game because they're going to need his dueling skills, but that's usually how a game grows up for him. And Red on the corner of the map. How are they going to stop Red from this making this push? And what is this? Orange is able to tip them over. Very good job by Orange, but unfortunately for them, they get a battle rifle bullet to the face. That is just excellent work there. And look at Handlebar. So accurate. doesn't even to aim at the guy to kill him. Good job, Edge. He turned that stumbled corpse into a stumbled corpse. Now, you see them getting some crucial ball time here. Red is taking first place. and Oh, unfortunately, green is just going to have the up, upper hand there. and That's not looking good for a blue, but they were able to get some good ball time there. And Edge is now going to become what he despises. He's going to take the chopper, and he's going to push over to that ball, man. He does not want to let green get any more time than they already have, because they are in first place, and he is just infuriated by these guys. He's able to take out one of the members of green here. The, the stumbled corpse is able to stumble away and dodge, but now the stumbled corpse becomes a stumbled corpse. Edge is going to get blown out of that chopper, but Handlebars takes out the assailant. And check out this, pulling out the pistol, going for some Halo 1 style action. Very good play there by Edge of Reason. 
And you see Handlebar's chucking down the Green Lancer, trying to soak up some ball time, but he is in a very awkward spot here. Edge is going to have to do a lot of work to defend him, and unfortunately gets taken out. And let's listen in real quick. Okay, then. Uh, Alright, let's listen in with Edge. Skata, Zembon Sakura, Kagayoshi. Skata, Zembon Sakura, Kagayoshi. Jump, Zembon Sakura, Kagayoshi. Skata, Zembon Sakura, Kagayoshi. Edge is just doing some work with the, the vibrant display of cherry blossoms. And Edge is gonna get some cover here from Handlebars' bubble, but allow Edge some ball time. And also picks up Jaco Raikobin, as he likes to call it. Jaco Raikobin! Double kill. And he is just now gonna let Edge pick up some ball time. Figuring now Edge is gonna get a good amount of ball time to get them in the first place. Wrong! Taken out by a chopper. What an amazing turn of events here. And Handlebars accidentally hops in the chop chopper. What a blunder trying to beat down his opponent. But he hops out to try to duel his opponent fairly. Let's listen into these guys. Rad! Get your corpse off my corpse! Rad! And... Ah, uh, hell with it. Let's just listen to him for some more time. Edge, it's time for the Death Chariot. Let's put on the official Death Chariot music. All right, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. I'll start the engine up. Look, the, the ball, the ball. No, get, get that, get out, get the ball. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Oh my God! <laughs> Why, God? Why? Oh, and check out the instant replay of this. Look at this lone missile fly away from the rest of the group. Circles all the way around the main base. And this guy conveniently happens to hop in and move that chopper five feet just so it could single-handedly kill him. That is just... He, I'm sure he is not happy about that, but... With that play there, Blue is able to pass Green and Orange to take first place. What, a, what an amazing turn of events there. Orange is able to take the Mongoose off the corners of the map, much more mobile than the, the Death Chariot, as they like to call it. So, oh, this is not looking good. He just moves past Edge, the only line of defense. Moves right past Green. So let's listen to Handlebars one more time, see how it's going to go down. Red? Red! Red! Oh, and check this out, folks! Red and blue putting their differences aside, trying to combat the greater evil. What a what a vibrant display of sportsmanship. You know what they say. The enemy of my enemy is still my enemy, so we must kill him. And with 10 points remaining, Orange gets taken out. That is just perfect play there, but unfortunately, Red is going to stop moving so that his other teammate can take him out. And this is not looking good here. Both members of Red and Green are fighting for the ball. But Orange only needs nine more seconds of ball time. I wonder how this is going to play out. And there's only three minutes left of game time. How is this going to play? Handlebars is going to have to make something good happen because Orange is pushing for their last nine seconds. This is not looking good. This will be our final listening, folks. Jaco Raikobin! Oh my, what a shot there! And he is turning that stumbled corpse into another stumbled corpse here. Now Edge is picking up some valuable ball time here. Oh, and he is dodging these shots like circus freaks. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness. And check out Handlebars here, making some clutch defense here, trying to distract the enemy from his partner. Oh, and gets the sweet double kill there, doing the shiggy shiver there. And unfortunately, Edge is getting taken out there by Red, but oh, and Handlebars nades him to the face. Get out of his face. Oh my God. And this is just, this is looking perfect for Blue, perfect situation. And Blue is making an excellent comeback. Who would have thought this would happen, folks? Unbelievable, and Handlebars is just a one-man wrecking crew. This is unbelievable. Oh, and Blue takes the lead. Oh, that is it, folks. That is game. What a comeback. What an amazing comeback. And what better way to celebrate a game winner than by having an honorable teabag. You get a 9 out of 10, son. 9 out of 10. And Handlebars, now that you won the Davy Bag games, would you tell us, who would you want from the enemy team's crew on your team? Ah, uh, they all just piss me off so much. I hate you all. You all so Okay, and I guess he's not taking anybody. So that does it for this episode of the Davy Bat Games. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave us a comment and a rating. Let us know what you guys thought. And until next time, this is your host, Vic. Adios.